Hello, it's a hair video. So, um, for those of you who already are subscribed to me, you already saw me try those Zoe Kravitz braids that I have on my channel using all those different types of hair. And that was the first time that I did that. Now this is my second time doing it and I used different hair, cheaper hair, and it's synthetic. It's not like, I think in that video the hair was like a blend, a human hair blend with Kanekalon hair that I use, all that. So go check that out if you haven't watched it already. Also, if this is your first time here or you're returning, hi, my name is Taj. Make sure you subscribe if you like to. Leave me a comment, like, and, um, you know, don't let this be the last time that we see each other. But, uh, yeah, so into this hair. <sighs> I'll insert some clips of me along the way. I'm sure I'm going to repeat things because I'm going to piece them together. But in short, one of my hair stores was closing down and they have all types of hair all over the place. So I got this hair for a steal apparently. Um, it was about just under $25 a pack and I got three packs. And I got Outre Botic Premium Multi Blend Bulk Hair. And it's in the Loose Deep Pattern in 18 inches, color number one. And this is what it looks like. Now, when you, in each pack, you get four little bundles. It looks like this. You get four of them. And I, as you can see, I still have two left. And my hair is really thick. Because I was worried going into it because my parts are smaller. But no problem. I got two left. So I only use four, eight, twelve. So I only use 10 of the little bundles that come. And it feels really good. The hair feels really good. It doesn't feel like how some braiding hair or some Kanekalon hair can have like that kinky texture. Like how your, your um, coarse hair would be if it was blow dried. It's not kinky at all. It feels just soft enough. Not too soft. And I also like that it's not too shiny. It's just shiny enough. You can see it. So yes, I did pretty much the same process with in the other video. The only difference is that this hair is already pre-folded. Like, so I didn't have to put two strands of hair together. It's already folded for me. So I can just braid it, which I love. And I'll never do that other crap again. I mean, you have to do that with human hair, bulk hair, because the ends are blunt. But I'm really hoping that I am able to maintain this for the next coming weeks. Because if I can just use the, the looped hair, I'll just do that. Um, but yeah, so this is what I did. Same process. I braided my hair in an individual and just along the way left hair out randomly. So that it kind of looks like from far away it looks like I have bundles in my head. But you'll see like you see the parts. So they are braids. It took me eight hours to do. And I didn't do it straight through. Um, so when I did, I did like a little section in the front and in the back. And that took me two hours. When I did it straight through, I did like majority of my head in four hours. So about six to eight hours, I would say. Depends on your skill level. Uh, what else can I tell you? I did cut it, some of it, just some layers. Like so that when I do pull it to the side, it kind of layers a little bit. And I'll show you it in the middle. That's how it looks in the middle. And just to show you how long, 18 inches is really long apparently. And I'm five, I'm about five step. So, comes like right before like my lower back. So that's a lot to me. Um, what else can I say about this hair? So the thing about doing the method where you leave you know, like I call them waterfall pieces of hair when you leave them out as you're braiding. Uh, you do have to do some maintenance as far as detangling. You're going to have to detangle. And I find that so far, it's only my first day wearing it, but so far, finger detangling is my friend. And using a small comb for like the waterfall pieces that may get caught, using a small comb is no problem because the, the strands are so thin that it won't like the hair won't get bigger because this, the strands are thin enough. So I can take a small comb and do that. And it'll be fine. They do give you 
maintenance directions that say to carefully wash with lukewarm water and mild shampoo, which they tell you with synthetic hair. Finger comb, apply conditioner and rinse. You can lose, use a leave-in conditioner. Gently squeeze out excess water or towel blot. Do not roll or rub the hair, which you should know with curly hair anyway. Uh, drip, drip dry the hair. Do not use heating appliances and you can apply hair lotion or moisturizer. So my plan for this when it's time to wash it, which I will uh, document, is to just focus on my roots obviously and then get the conditioner on this hair to keep the softness that it has because it is extremely soft and as you can see I'm putting my fingers through it with no problem like well not zero problem but 85 to 90 percent no problem um, which is great I love it I, I really do like this I think I like this install better than I like the first one that I did um, so second time's a charm but this was great. What else can I tell you about this? Again, this is synthetic hair. It's not human hair. It's a premium blend of synthetic Kanagalan hair. Uh, they say that it's close to human hair feel. It gives you the human hair feel, which we'll find out. Again, this is my first day doing it. This is my initial feelings on the hair. But I will say that, Outre, I am low-key obsessed with your Botic. This is my second time buying Botic. And um, I'm, I'm excited. I'm really feeling myself with this hair. And I'm really feeling the protective aspect of it because my scalp is free. So I'm really excited about that. I love it. But let me know what you guys think. And hopefully, fingers crossed, that this hair does not disappoint me because I'm really happy with it. And it took a long time. So we'll see. But uh, let me know what you think. Make sure you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Help me out. Subscribe. I want to see you. You want to see me. Let's make it happen together. Um, but I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.